hi guys welcome to android guide so in this video we will be checking out uh, pure nexus so this rom is based on the latest maintenance release of android which is nougat 7.1.2 uh, the rom incorporates in the may 5 2017 security patch which is the latest security patch and uh, this is an unofficial release of pure nexus for the redmi note 3 uh, the build uh, date is 18th of may um i will be uh, again uh, there are some uh, rom related issues uh, for the redmi note 3 uh, users and uh, i will be covering uh, them up right in the end of the video okay so uh, first up we have the lock screen settings uh, so from uh, under lock screen items you can enable or disable uh, any uh, anything which you want to show right uh, then uh, you can also change the font for the lock screen clock uh, then uh, we have got double tap to sleep anywhere on the lock screen uh, lock screen torch is in there media cover art lock screen charging info and then if you want to scramble the pin layout uh, and then we also have the lock screen pin ripple effect okay so i will just be showing you guys uh, the scramble layout um okay uh, so currently you can see that uh, the numbers are not juggled up in uh, any way so uh, after just after i key in my pin I, I am able to unlock my device uh, now when I just enable the scramble layout option now you can see that all those numbers are juggled up and uh, you know uh, this order is uh, different every time uh, you open the uh, lock screen or to enter your pin the order will be different in, in which the numbers are scrambled so this is a randomly generated order uh, so yeah that's what scramble layout is and then in the end we have the lock screen pin ripple effect uh, okay i'll just i think i just press the camera button twice and that uh, oh, i pressed the power key twice and that launched uh, the camera so now you can see that we don't have any ripple effect um okay so that's all what we have got in the lock screen tweaks then we have the notification door settings we have quick pull down smart pull down then uh, you can enable or disable the advanced quick setting easy toggle option so you know currently uh, when you uh, when i uh, click on the wi-fi toggle you can see that it opens up the advanced layout wherein you can view the list of the nearby wi-fi networks and when i just uh, enable this option and this time it will simply turn off the wi-fi but uh, when this option uh, is uh, disabled uh, for uh, you to you won't be able to uh, turn off the wi-fi connection uh, you know you will have to uh, head over to the advanced layout and then just turn it off from here so if in case you find this cumbersome you can uh, uh, dis you can enable this option and using uh, this option you will be able you will be able to toggle on and off the wi-fi bluetooth mobile data uh, just by a single tap then we have got the brightness slider you can enable or disable that the vibrate for touch disable quick settings on the lock screens then uh, you can uh, customize the number of uh, uh, quick setting tiles columns uh, and then uh, rows in both the portrait and the landscape mode uh, then we have got uh, the custom header images um, so currently we are using uh, the dynamic header images so the dynamic header images uh, change throughout the day uh, depending so we will have a different header image for uh, uh, in the morning another one in the afternoon a different one in the evening and another one for the night so uh, that's how dynamic header images work but they are basically like uh, time contextual headers and we have got a bunch of header image packs to check uh, to check out uh, you know this is the default one again a uh, nature one just quickly i will be showing you guys uh, all the images separately as well uh, you know these are the random nature ones uh, okay that's not changing um again i will just be giving you guys a, a, a look into all the header pack images and then uh, this is the wavy one okay uh, and uh, then the static header images um, you know again as the name suggests uh, these header images will uh, remain stagnant throughout the day they won't be uh, changing at all so you will be having uh, you will be having constant header image throughout the day irrespective of the time uh, you can configure the shadow header, header image as well uh, now you know you can uh, uh, basically uh, check out all the uh, header images from in here uh, so these are the header images which the default pack has in then uh, similarly the nature one poly header images 
again you know you can see that we have got a different header image for uh, different times of the day uh, then na random nature images uh, so the random nature images they won't uh, depend upon the time of the day uh, they will vary uh, as per uh, you know whenever you uh, pull out whenever you pull out the quick settings panel uh, you will be having a different header image that is what uh, random is uh, the random nature image pack is then we have got wavy in the end so again a great bunch of uh, images in here and yeah lastly uh, in in case you want to set a set a header image as a static header image all you have to do is just long press on that image and that will be set as the static header image uh, then uh, we have got the recent app settings uh, you can we have immersive recents again you can configure the full screen layout whether you want to show the status bar only or the navigation bar uh, then uh, you know uh, right now the clear all button is present in the top right corner and uh, uh, just go back again to recent apps and uh, if you want to uh, show the clear all button in the bottom right corner uh, you can enable this option and then we have got the six location pack to tweak the location of that of the clear all button and then if you want to show the memory bar you can enable that as well uh, then we have got the status bar settings so under battery settings you can uh, configure the uh, icon or uh, the battery icon uh, again a bunch of options this is the circle one uh, solid one and if you just want to show the text you can do that as well um, then if you want to show or hide the battery percentage you can do that uh, then uh, battery tile style uh, sing the battery sync the same icon chosen for the status bar battery you know so well uh, we will be having the same battery icon both in the quick settings panel as well as in the status bar then if you want to show or hide the battery bar you can do that top of the status bar top of the navigation bar or at the bottom of the navigation bar you can configure the uh, battery bar color uh, the style center mirror we have got two options in here uh, then you can also configure the thickness and if you want to enable the charging animation you can do that then we have got the clock settings uh, you can uh, using this master switch you can enable or disable the uh, clock and date entirely then uh, the basic settings you can show the seconds if you want to you can configure the alignment right center or left am pm styles date again you know basic stuff uh, then we've got the network traffic settings so if you want to show the data rate exchanges uh, of your network uh, then you can uh, show or hide them outgoing incoming or both of them um, then you can tweak the display unit bits per second or bytes per second i personally prefer to have bytes per second then you can tweak the update interval uh, hide arrows if you want to hide the uh, network arrows you, know, you can see the changes in the status bar uh, then uh, if you want to auto hide the network arrows when they uh, the network traffic indicator when there is no data uh, exchange going on you can do that and you can configure the inactivity threshold so maybe uh, you know when the uh, data rate exchange is below 10 kbps per second uh, the network traffic indicators won't be shown in status bar icons you can enable or disable any icon which you want to show or hide in the status bar you know the option for headset icon is in there and 4g instead of lte uh, the rest of the options are pretty basic uh, moving on uh, we have got double tap to sleep on the status bar brightness control notification count and then show the bluetooth battery status uh, moving on we have got the hardware key settings uh, so uh, you can uh, disable or enable the on-screen navigation bar again you know that's up to you oh sorry <laughs> if you want to uh, uh, enable or disable the hardware keys you know you can do that using this option and then uh, if you want to enable or disable the backlight you can do that as well you can configure the backlight timeout uh, and then you can configure the single tap double tap and long press action for uh, each of the three hardware keys so again you know, if you want to have a look at the custom actions then uh, these are the options which we have so one handed mode is in there uh, search assistant will uh, uh, will uh, execute the google assistant so you know a bunch of options in here uh, partial screenshot is also in there uh, you can choose this uh, you can tweak this uh, as per your wish and if you want to launch any application then you can do that and in fact uh, if you use tasker then uh, you can also uh, configure the hardware keys actions to execute a tasker task you know execute a task from tasker uh, so again a lot of options in here uh, it all depends on how you use it then uh, we have got the navigation bar so using this option you can either enable or disable the on-screen navigation bar Okay, and uh, 
well as you saw it uh, does a system UI restart every time you enable or disable it uh, okay uh, then uh, we have got uh, the dynamic navigation bar color so if you want uh, the navigation bar color to adopt the primary color of the app uh, then you can do that um, you know very quickly I just want to show this to you guys uh, you know you can see that currently the uh, color of the navigation uh, bar is black and uh, that of the status bar is uh, uh, is some tinge of blue so if you want uh, these two colors to match up then uh, you can uh, enable this uh, dynamic navigation bar color option and then when the next time you load the app you can see the color of the status bar and the navigation bar match uh, then uh, if you want to have the pixel navigation bar animation you know currently we have got the pixel navigation bar animation only on the home button so if you want to enable or disable that animation that is up to you then we have got the one handed mode double tap to sleep on the navigation bar kill app back button you can tweak the navigation bar dimensions uh, and then we have got the navigation bar tuner i had covered this up in great detail in my linear os review so i will link that down uh, if you want to know more about the navigation bar tuner uh, then uh, we have got uh, the power menu settings uh, show or hide the power menu on the lock screen uh, reboot screenshot screen record a bunch of options in here uh, sound panel is in there as well you know, if you just want to see how the power menu looks like after I enable all these options so this these are all the options which we have so a lot of options in here uh, then uh, we have uh, and also advanced reboot is, pre is present in there again if you just quickly want to check that out as well you know you can quickly reboot into uh, perform a soft reboot boot into recovery or bootloader uh, then uh, we've got the volume locker settings you can use the volume keys to control the media volume uh, use them to wake the device playback control is in there then uh, where to play the ringtones from you can you know configure all that stuff uh, swap the volume buttons when the device is rotated we, we have got the volume key cursor control and then uh, you can configure the uh, what happens when uh, you uh, press the power up key and the volume up button simultaneously start screen recording or then we have got the partial screenshot uh, option as well or you can just disable this then uh, volume down for do not disturb again volume up in for uh, do not disturb then if you want to show the do not disturb switch again and if you just quickly want to see all these settings so you know we have got this do not disturb switch and you know right when i just decrease the volume it will automatically enable the do not disturb mode and when i just press the volume up key again it gets out of the do not disturb mode so that's what these settings are for and then we have got volume steps in the end uh, then we have got the display tweaks you expanded desktop uh, wake on plug three finger screenshot gesture is in here and then you can configure the notification uh, LED and the battery LED uh, then we've got the media and notifications uh, double tap for camera vibration if you want to enable the vibration then we have got power notifications control peaking notifications you can configure the timeout and the snooze timer then ticker if you want to have that and uh, then we have got the low battery notification miscellaneous tweaks toast icon scrolling cache and then you can uh, we have got a bunch of tweaks for the in-call vibrations uh, change log you can view all that stuff from in here and uh, pure nexus updates again you know since this is an uh, uh, unofficial build uh, the updater won't work but still if you just uh, want to have a look at the updater you know uh, you can configure when you want to check for updates uh, you know install restart to recovery mode delete downloads you know all that stuff is in there i think that one uh, this icon will uh, maybe open up the uh, pure nexus github page or something like that uh so uh moving on uh, we've got then we have got the display tweaks uh night light is present in here um sleep timeouts maximum limit is 30 minutes uh, rotation settings we have got the rock lock screen rotation and the 180 degrees rotation in here then ambient display is present in here as well uh, and then you can uh, configure the font size display size and all that stuff sound settings uh, other sounds we have got the dial pad tone screen locking sounds volume adjustment sounds touch sounds vibrate on tap and charging sounds uh, and then you can also configure the vibration and the uh, charging ringtone and very quickly if you want to have a look at the apps which we get 
then we have got a uh, we have got the Snapdragon camera. Uh, uh, the default keyboard is Gboard, and uh, uh, the Pixel launcher is present in here as well. And then we also have got the Google Wallpapers application. And you know, actually, the wallpaper I uh, I like the wallpaper which was set by default. You know, it was a pretty cool one. And uh, you know, if you want to just check out, uh, these are uh, uh, this is the Pixel launcher and wallpapers. This the uh, this is the uh, Google Wallpapers application, and we will get a bunch of options in here to tweak the wallpapers. Widgets again, you know, if you just we will quickly just uh, finish wrap this up. Uh, we got a widget for the gallery app. Uh, I will just be covering that up as well. Okay, so apps, um, and then we also have got an inbuilt uh, equalizer application. For tweaking the audio output um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, then uh, moving on battery settings uh, nothing new in here then uh, we'll just uh, move on to users okay so uh, one thing which I just want uh, I ensure that I mention every time is that is that uh, no matter which nougat based room you are using just make sure that uh, uh, you will be able to find this uh, emergency information section under users so uh, just make sure that uh, you enter your emergency information in here you can uh, enter your emergency contacts and you know just uh, fill up this emergency information so again as I had already shown you uh, you know this emergency screen can be even uh, accessed from the lock screen you know uh, but since I haven't uh, currently entered uh, any emergency information uh, you won't be able to view it but you know, just as I showed you uh, if you have entered any emergency information and God forbid if you run into any accident uh, you know uh, the person who tries to contact your loved ones they would be able to do so using this emergency information so just make sure that you fill this up uh, then under security settings uh, we have got uh, the option for or lock screen message power button instantly locks and the automatic lock timeout you know you can tweak all that and uh, uh, pattern lock if you want to enable that you know we don't have any option we have got that 3 by 3 grid uh, unknown sources is checked in by default uh, then uh, developer options okay uh, so OEM unlocking is checked in by default um, Android debugging is also enabled by default and then you can configure the mock location app from in here then uh, if you are using a uh, test build of substrata map then make sure you enable force authorize every theme app uh, then we have got a bunch of Wi-Fi and mobile data settings um, animation settings and then if you want to configure the your device DPI you can con tweak this uh, smallest width attribute um, and then if you want to you know force all the apps to be resizable for multi window and force allow apps to uh, to store the data of the applications on your external memory card then you can do that so i guess this uh, wraps up the settings menu um pretty quickly we'll check out the remaining applications uh, this is the gallery application you know you can uh, view the albums sort them by locations times people tags uh, again you know we have got a pretty nice uh, theme uh, editor in the so slideshow you know you can edit the image crop it set picture as details print you know if you just want to edit the image too you know we have got a nice editor in here as well you, know, you can uh, tweak the filters we got a bunch of filters frames uh, and then you can crop the image straighten it you know uh, rotate it mirror it draw something on it you know a lot of options in here so you know you can do all the stuff so yeah uh, you know the editor is uh, we have got a great editor in and then you can configure the exposure values in the end so yeah a bunch of options in even in the gallery app uh, then uh, camera as I had mentioned uh, we have got a snapdragon camera included in the uh, in the room then uh, equalizer you can use this to tweak the output of uh, the device speaker headphones and the bluetooth headsets um then we also have an fm radio application uh yeah uh, i guess this is pretty much it and lastly we'll just check out the quick setting tiles which we get in with the room so these are the tiles which are enabled by default 
and these are the ones which you can add on so a lot of options in here uh, caffeine is present in there well okay um i'll just uh, just take a moment and describe the quick setting uh, the caffeine quick setting tile for you if you are not aware of it so you know uh, the caffeine tile uh, uh, so currently as you can uh, as you might have noticed uh, you know the uh, default uh, screen uh, screen the default sleep time is uh, one minute now if i uh, turn on caffeine you know uh, my screen won't uh, uh, turn off uh, till five minutes so this is what caffeine is for you know it will uh, temporarily uh, change the uh, screen out time to five minutes or you know you can uh, extend this to 10 30 minutes infinity and you know if you don't want to screen to sleep at all then uh, you can just uh, change that to infinity um yeah so uh, that's what uh, the caffeine tile is for and now lastly uh, i just want to mention uh, one bug in the room uh, for uh, the redmi note 3 users uh, you know uh, uh, apart if you're not a redmi note 3 user you can uh, stop watching the video right here you know we are done with all the features uh, with the room uh, okay so just uh, a note for the redmi note 3 users that uh, the rooms uh, the no nougat based rooms which we are uh, which we have around uh, which we are having these days again you know if you are watching this video sometime after uh, june then uh, maybe uh, this doesn't apply then uh, but uh, as of now uh, you know currently it's uh, it's june 2 today uh, so currently uh, the rooms which we uh, have uh, the nougat based rooms all of them are uh, uh, at least for me they are ending up uh, the room when i flash a room when i clean flash a room and then uh, i try to boot it up it gets uh, stuck in a boot loop and then uh, to uh, uh, to make the room boot up so that I can use it I have to flash a custom kernel and in this case I flashed uh, one of the builds of Franco's kernel uh, so uh, but uh, I couldn't get the room to boot up on the stock kernel maybe this is a problem in the device tree but uh, this problem is uh, common across all the rooms no matter you know you can um, try out AICP, Dirty Unicorns, Resurrection Remix, Xenon HD, any room uh, but uh, the room wasn't able to boot up uh, if you were using the stock kernel so make sure uh, you use a custom kernel and uh, apart from that uh, i had uh, read the xda thread and uh, some users had reported that uh, they weren't able to get the network signal uh, working in the uh, when the room uh, when the room booted up with the custom kernel so uh, a workaround for that is uh, you you know and even i wasn't able to get the network signal reception uh, uh the first time i booted up the room but a simple reboot just uh, fixed it and uh, have been using this room since uh, quite a while now uh, maybe i had flashed it uh, about uh, seven or eight hours back and uh, since then i haven't faced any problem at all so you know if if in case you run into any network reception problems just make sure that you uh, do a reboot and that should solve the problem so i guess uh, this pretty much uh, ends this video and uh, there are no bugs in the room at all um, you know it's really very stable it's smooth you can see that uh, the animation speeds are pretty are uh, the animations are pretty good as well you know um, okay so yeah uh, this pretty much concludes this video so in case you like the like the video hit that thumbs up button and uh, in case you want to get a notification in whenever we upload our future videos through this channel then do subscribe to us as well so thanks for watching guys and we will catch you guys in the next one